The work that I created was The Streets of Your Town and it's a gouache piece on brown paper and it kind of revolves around suburbia, I guess the place that I grew particularly fond of in lockdown. The street actually doesn't exist, it's kind of a amalgamation of different parts of Melbourne suburbia that strike me as familiar, kind of like the Google map perspective. A full streetscape kind of gives you a sense of suburbia as a whole and not just household structures. The hard rubbish, I thought that was like a massive part I had to involve because I think it's really strange. There's a week where people air their garbage to the whole suburb and you can kind of get a sense of who's living inside these facades. I am a fan of um, Rick Amore, the artist and there's a, like a distinct lack of people in his artworks as well. And I think it's kind of eerie, it makes people just pay attention solely to the ordinary, which was the massive theme of my um, polio. The starting points going for walks with my dog, which was kind of all I did during lockdown because there wasn't much else to do. Um, I guess I paid a lot more attention to where I was walking and the people around me when I wasn't allowed to go anywhere else. I wouldn't take pictures of the houses because I felt a little bit creepy doing that. So then I'd go onto Google Maps and look at them from that way. I spent so long on Google Maps trying to scan and find a perfect like image of a PowerPoint because they'd be on the side because the car moves as they take photos. And I remember finding a street in Northgate that had the perfect, like one address that had the perfect power pole in the middle. And I was like, I'm gonna use that. So just that power pole and the mattress that leans on it is probably my favorite part. Conceptually, probably uh, Howard Arkley. I was very inspired by his suburban vernacular explorations and how he would take real estate pictures um, and kind of reinvent them in a vibrant and patterned way. Music was definitely a big inspiration as well because I would often listen to music when I was painting and Streets of Your Town is obviously the title of the work. The artist is obviously trying to prompt people to pay attention to what's going on. Just choosing the ordinary as a topic, I knew that suburbia was definitely going to be a part of that but I went from interior still life and kind of exploring inside the house and then suburban structures and then hard rubbish as a concept. I've found creating this artwork actually quite difficult because of the material of the really thick brown paper because it had a really low absorbency. The paper would warp as I was painting on it. It was a bit unideal um, compared to like a normal standard watercolour paper. I guess my general process was to pencil general shapes in and then go in with um, a small paintbrush and do fine details. If I could give advice, it would probably be to choose a topic that you can expand upon a lot in ways that interest you. So the ordinary doesn't seem like the most exciting um, topic, but for me, I used that and I kind of twisted it to suit my interests and really explore things that I enjoyed. And also having fun with it. I feel like you create your best artworks when you're not stressing about being p perfect. There were definitely moments when I was making this work and many of the trials in my folio where I thought, this is horrible, but that was because I was looking for perfection. Whereas if you're not looking for perfection, you often get your best pieces.